Sketch the graph of the function f of x equals negative x to the fourth plus x squared. Solution. So we'll start maybe by finding the x-intercepts. So to find the x-intercepts, you take the entire function and you set it equal to zero. So negative x to the fourth plus x squared equals zero. And then you have to factor this. So what we'll do is we'll factor out a negative x squared. And then that means here you would need an x squared, right? Because when you multiply these, 2 plus 2 is 4. And then here we need a minus 1. And the reason we need a minus is because negative and negative is positive. And this is equal to 0. We can factor this further. So we get negative x squared, x minus 1, x plus 1 equals 0. Then here we get three different answers. We get 0, we get 1, and we get negative 1. This is a 0 of the function, and so is this, and so is this. These are zeros of the function. The multiplicity here is 2. 2 is even, so at 0, it's going to touch and turn around. Ta-ta, touch and turn around. Here, the multiplicity is 1, so it's odd. So at both of these, it's going to cross. If you remember, if you have an even multiplicity, it touches and turns around. If you have an odd multiplicity, it crosses. So these are all x values, right? And these are the behaviors. So it touches and turns around at 0, crosses at the other ones. All right, now let's find um, the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, you just plug in 0. But you'll notice that when you plug in 0, you just get 0, because all of these are 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. So we get nothing new. We just get 0, comma 0 which we already had from the x-intercepts. Then we can look at maybe the end behavior. So let's look at that. So end behavior. So this has um, even degree, right? It has an even degree and a negative leading coefficient. So even degree, negative leading coefficient. So whenever you have those two things, the simplest function we can think of maybe is negative x squared. So it's going to look like this. So the end behavior for this function should be the same as the end behavior for negative x squared. So it should fall left and fall right. Okay, now that we have the end behavior and the intercepts, we should be able to graph our function. So let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to come down here and draw the y-axis and the x-axis. So there's x and y. And we can plot our intercepts. We have 0, 1, and negative 1. And we know it falls left and falls right. So it has to come from underneath because it falls left. It goes all the way to negative 1, going really slow. At negative 1, it crosses, right? It crosses at negative 1, so it keeps going up. Now, how high does it go? We can't really determine that without a calculator or without using calculus. It comes back down really slowly, and then at zero, aha, ta-ta, touches and turns around. So it comes back up, and then at one, it crosses, so it crosses down, and it falls right. And that is the answer. That's it.